Hi, this is Rich of HouseBarons.com. My brother Dave and I renovate houses, and today we're going to show you how to replace a toilet seat. This isn't the most glamorous job, but toilet seats wear out just like everything else in your house, and one day every one of them will need to be replaced. This is a job anyone can do, and you can save money by replacing your toilet seat yourself. This is the toilet seat that needs to be replaced. This part of it is fine, but down here on the actual seat, you can see that it is broken loose right there. So just over time, that gave out, and so this seat's days are over. The first step to replacing it is you'll want to go get your replacement toilet seat. So what you can do is you can measure the width of it and measure the length of it and then go into your local hardware store and pick out a toilet seat that has those same dimensions. Another option is you can go online and order them. When you purchase your new toilet seat, one feature to consider is the way it closes. So, you know, a standard toilet, like if you started closing it and you let go of it, it would slam down. But today's toilet seats, a lot of them have this really cool feature. It's on these, uh, the way they hinge it. So uh, some call them soft close, some call them slow close. I think uh, this company, uh, they call it their own thing. Oh, they call it the whisper close. I would definitely recommend that you look for that feature when you purchase your new toilet seat. All right, here's the toilet seat replacement that we picked up. There it is. And this is made by a company called Church, and we will put an affiliate link in the description below if you want to get that exact item. And so, like I said, the company's name is Church, and they've got this really great slogan. It says, the best seat in the house. So I think that's pretty funny. All right, meanwhile, we're back at our toilet. The toilet's going to have some kind of retaining screws and they're going to be under something quite like this. So most of them just flip up. They're just clipped in there and you just got to find uh, how they fasten in and then you just un undo it. And then you can see these have plastic screws. So there's one there and there's one there. And we're just going to use a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to unscrew them. Now I'm going underneath the uh, the side of the toilet and you can see right here is what's underneath that Phillips screw so basically where that black tab is we're just going to hold on to that as we unscrew from the top that will enable us to get this apart this is pretty tight quarters in here but we'll see if we can make it work so I'm just holding underneath on that black tab so that doesn't turn and now I'm turning this plastic screw toward the left or counterclockwise to unscrew it that's what it looks like the, the retaining plastic nut and the plastic screw and then we're going to do the same thing with the other one okay that one's off Now with those retaining screws off, look at that, the rest of it just comes off. And it's that easy to remove your toilet seat. All right, now we just have to remove all the packaging. And it's given us new retaining screws and nuts. They're all plastic as well. Now before you put the new seat on, it's a good idea to clean all the gunk that's in there, because it's probably gonna be from years and years kind of gross, but pretty much everything with uh, toilet plumbing is a little gross. <laughs> That's just life. All right, now we're just pretty much reversing the order of what we just did. The model of your toilet seat might be a little bit different than this, but on this one, it's got these little hinge caps. So we're gonna flip those up, then we're flipping the seat over. All right, next we're inserting these bolts. So this is the, the head of the bolt it goes down in here and it's going to actually kind of snap in. And when it snaps, you know you've got it. It's 
do the same thing with this other one. Okay, so now those are in. Now we'll flip it back over and fasten the hinge caps back. And those both snap into place. So now it looks like this. The bolts are securely inside the hinge caps. Okay, so the next part is we're gonna put these two bolts into the, the holes here in the toilet. This is how it looks underneath the toilet. This is where we just put the bolt through. So now we're gonna take the plastic nut and go ahead and tighten that right on there. All right, now both of those are securely fastened. Okay, so there it is all assembled. It is nice and clean. It's gleaming, shining white. Now let's see how it works. On these soft closed toilet seats, all you gotta do is pull that forward and they shut on their own. Look at that, it's a thing of beauty. Hurrah. Another really great feature of this particular toilet seat is it's got an easy, clean design. And all you have to do is pop up this tab and the other tab, and you just pull straight up. Now the entire toilet seat is off, and then so then you can easily clean any of this area in here. And it's super easy to put it back on. You just Put it back over the posts, push it down, put those shut again. So anyway, that's just kind of a cool feature of this toilet seat. They don't all do that. So definitely do this job yourself. It's, it's very simple to do, and you'll be very pleased with yourself every time you use the facility. Hope this helps. If you have a comment or a question, please leave it below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because we have a lot of home improvement how-to videos coming out shortly. Thanks for viewing.